Hey guys, what's up? My name's Landon and today we're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about my mission trip to Peru and what I learned from it, how it went, and just all the things that happened during that time. So on our, our church went to a mission trip to Peru and our goal there was to get water for the people because they had no drinking water. They had no like drinking water that was actually healthy for them. All of it was contaminated and stuff like that. And to uh, finish up was what was being built in the church. There was a, in this place, it was like a, basically a desert. It was just rock because it never rains there. So this was in Paraiso, Peru. Also, we stayed in Huacho, which is spelled like Hacho or something. It's weird. Anyways, we stayed over there and our mission there was to get them water, just take care of the kids, and do missions work, and just teach, teach the word of God, and show, show God through us, and we had a plan, but of course, not everything goes to plan, because God is really just, he will move, and whatever happens with his plan is just how we're gonna follow it. They're the first day, and definitely the kids were excited to see, it. everyone was just excited to see us, and see that so many people were there just to help them, and teach them and just be actually there for them because they live in like little huts handmade bricks and stuff like that are just like just made up stuff they don't sleep they, it's just a big desert area and it's just huts that they sleep a couple of days we're just getting the work done and stuff like that we're doing there what we're do we're there to do but then this one day we go to meet the governor of Wacho, I think it was. Not it's like a governor basically over there. He was called the mayor, or something like that. So he we went over there to meet him. And the lady that uh kinda guided us that used to live in Peru, she uh she had tried so many times to uh try and get water, try and get water, but they wouldn't let it. Well twenty twenty of us went and waited on the governor that day and when they called him and said, you have 20 Americans waiting on you. So we waited there and we waited and we told him our situation and told him what was happening and we needed fresh water. And he said that he would promise that he would give us fresh water to like engineers to build a water tower for that place. And this is all after she had finally years and years of begging to try and get this. We walk in there, 20 Americans and go in there and they were just, they said they were blessed to have us there. So he basically, he promised us to have water and he said the next day he would actually go out there and see everything and he's gonna get engineers the next week and get over there and, and he said he promised that he will do that. Also, I'm gonna be making a recap on this and this will be on my YouTube. So you'll get more of what, and you get to see everything and what, what happened over there. So stay tuned for that. There were so much blessings and stuff that happened there and miracles and things like that for these kids and for just the people that live there in Paraiso. It was just amazing how God moved through. And it's like, I didn't really fully grasp it, but like, it's just looking back on it. It's crazy how much God actually moved through this missions trip and everything that happened. And no, it wasn't easy all the time because the devil doesn't want you to go out there and do that. So he's gonna try and stop you, but we never let the devil stop us from getting and getting done what we were supposed to be done. Cause we can't let the devil stop us when we have God on our side and he wins every single battle for us. We stayed there for about a week. We stayed from the 20th to the 27th and all of it was just really amazing and just, it really gives me a new perspective on life and how like we are truly blessed just that me to be in this air conditioned house. Most of them don't even have air conditioner where they're at. We slept in a hotel that had no air conditioner. At least we had fans. We had two fans and we opened our balcony window and it was just, it was crazy how like, and that was like one of the more higher hotels and it's crazy to think that over there it's just it's a poorer place but like it shows that no matter what where how you live or whatever it is that God still loves you and he still cares for you he sent us out there to go help them kids and help the adults in the church and all the way over there 
he sent us to go help them. And no matter how, like, it kind of shows, like, relating this, no matter how broke down you are and no matter how, like, low in life you are or how poor in your heart you are, God still loves you and he still wants to send out and go and find you and help you and pick you up out of your rough spot. There was also another miracle that happened that was really good. We, this lady, she only spoke Spanish. Her name was Chella and she, she basically stayed with us through the whole time and she planned everything for us because she, but there was this land and it was in, it was this thing called Satellite City. And the funny thing was we actually got told like, the pastor and stuff had a prophecy over the church that we would have satellite churches, which means around the world churches, like in different or in different places. And this place was called Satellite City. And this this lady named Chella, she donated this piece of land to us, to the church, so we can do whatever we want with it. And it's truly amazing just to see, like, wow, that kind of just lines up like that. It's, I don't think it's a coincidence. And it's just crazy how God moves. And he, he knows our hearts. And if we keep on pressing into him, he's going to bless us for that. And you just have to stay strong in God's word and know that he's always going to be there. And know no matter what situation you're in, he's always going to be there for you, even when you don't feel like it. But God's always going to work through you. You just have to give up and surrender to him and let him work into you. And let him do the plan that he has for you because it's always going to be the best. And I'll know that from experience. We had some tough times and we had to trust God through it. But that's the thing. He's trying to build us up and build our faith. There was so much stuff that happened there. And I just thank God that he allowed me to be a part of that and watch it go down. And just me being able to capture it and show it to everyone. And just being able to be there in that moment and just be there to help the kids and anything like that. Just be there at that mission trip. And I just thank God for that. I just thank you guys so much for watching. I just hope you guys have an amazing day. If you didn't enjoy this video, I encourage you to hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell right by the subscribe button so you get notified every single time I post a video. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys next Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Peace.